Well, hello and happy Motivational Monday to all of my Virgos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Motivational Monday video. Yes, I know that it is Monday and somewhere in the world, but if it's Sunday where you are, Virgos, uh, the video is going up a little early. Let's get into your reading. If you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, I am talking to you. You are ruled by Mercury, which is currently retrograde until the 3rd of June. So it's only a couple more days. So if you feel like messages that are being downloaded into your spirit aren't clear, or you just feel like they're garbled or you're stressed, you don't have to overthink this. Clear messages are going to come through very, very shortly. Very soon they're going to come through, right? So if somebody is feeling like, these messages that are coming through don't make any sense to me. I'm frustrated. Am I making the right decisions about things? The answer is yes, you are making right decisions about things. These cards are acting really strange and weird. All right, so here we go. Here we have the High Priestess and the Magician card. The Magician card is attached to Mercury, which both you and Gemini share. And we are New Moon Energy in Gemini starting the 30th. It may be the 30th where you are already, or by the time the video uploads, it may be the 30th, but happy new moon in Gemini, okay? Yes, we also have the chariot card. Somebody could um, be having mixed messages about a business relationship or a romantic relationship. It could be mixed messages coming through, um, which could have you sitting somewhere overthinking. Remember, if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, you're intelligent, you're analytical, you're honest, you're reliable. I'm talking to my high vibrational Virgos. You're loyal, you're kind, you're hardworking, you're very practical. But this overthinking piece here and the, and the self-criticism, like the beating yourself up, new moon energy means get your rest. Just relax, lay down. The messages that you want, the answers you want are coming through. Remember, this is a general reading. So please only take what resonates with you. But I can tell you, on the other side of this, you're going to be very happy, magnetic, and free. The energy of money is very attracted to you because you're very down-to-earth, very relatable, um, very approachable. But again, Having these mixed emotions because you're waiting on some answers for some things can have anybody frustrated. But as a sign that is the I analyze sign, this will cause you to be so frustrated. Some of you all were like, I don't want to hear. I need to get some rest. I'm waiting for some answers. Nothing is making sense for me right now. And it can cause you to be very difficult to be around and very difficult to work with. Be around, period, right? Not just work with romantically everything right you don't want to run people away because you're waiting for answers and they're not coming fast enough let mercury do its thing it's not going to be retrograde forever it is going station direct on june 3rd if you need a date june 3rd is going station direct right so some answers should be coming clear matter of fact the answers are already here but again Maybe you need to receive answers in your dream. Be very specific about how you want the answers to come through from source. Your intuition is extremely heightened right now. I should have put these on the same. Um, your intuition is extremely heightened right now. Somebody is feeling some kind of way, right? Don't let those feelings get you in trouble and talk you out of something or further delay the thing that you've been asking, the thing that you desire. It's time to open your mouth and, and, and communicate to source what you want. Just say, source, I need some answers on X, Y, and Z. Let it come through my dreams. Let it come through a video that I'm watching. Let it come through whatever, right? Because new moon energy is really about getting your rest, setting up, planting those seeds of intention. What do you want to manifest by full moon, right? This is not a time to get distracted because you're waiting on answers, right? Because I see wish fulfillment, Retrograde is a wonderful time. It's not the time for you to get stressed out and, oh my God, the answers aren't coming soon. Like God has to meet your deadline. Uh, no, God doesn't have to meet your deadline. God has proven to you over and over and over again that God is God, right? So we are not God's God. <laughs> But again, whatever you've been wishing for is coming your way. So be very specific in your analytical mind. Be very specific about what you want so that God can blow your mind. 
Yes, be very specific about what you want. So when you look back on this, you go like, oh my God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Wow. You know how like you ask God for certain things and when God delivers that thing, you're like, oh, I should have asked for this. I should have asked for that. That's the beauty of retrograde. Take your time and ask God for what you want. Even if it's for the strength to get through retrograde. At, toss that in there too, right? Eight of Cups. Somebody needs to go off somewhere and recharge near a body of water. It's just been an a emotional roller coaster for somebody as it relates to their money, as it relates to their emotions, as it relates to their, their vision, which I'm about the number eight, their spiritual vision. It's just been a really emotional time. So it's time to go off somewhere and really think about next steps, right? Instead of getting frustrated. Because really you're frustrated with yourself. That's what it is, is you're frustrated with God in you, but you're frustrated with yourself. So, again, instead of getting frustrated with yourself, this is the time to sit down and write out that list. God, I want this, 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 that, and the other. Make sure I didn't leave anything off my list. Your number for today is four. I am stable. I love it. You bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock, and your hard work and perseverance Makes you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. That's right. Keep that in mind when you uh, are putting in your order to God. What is it that you want from God? Right? Get focused. Get focused and remember how stable you really are. You're stable at work. You're stable in your friendships. You're stable. You're just that rock for people. People are looking at you. Right, they're not looking for you to crack or break or go off on anybody or become unhinged, right? Hydrate. Like I said before, this person is going off somewhere. They're emotionally going somewhere to recharge. They're in introspection mode. They're trying to recharge those emotions and try to keep it as high vibrational as possible. Yeah. See how if you notice on these cards, everybody is by themselves. They're taking some time by themselves alone to recharge. Recharge for you, being near a body of water, drinking some water to detox, get all those, you know, spirits out of your body that you've collected along the way, you know, of being contaminated by overly criticizing yourself, being judgmental of yourself, being fussy and overthinking slow to move on this thing here of asking source for what you want all of that yeah like i said i see wish fulfillment somebody's gonna be very happy put that order in put that order into source tell source exactly what you want be very specific because emotions are running high that's right emotions are running very high so be very careful this is what i have for you virgos continue being patient with source, like I said, happy new moon in Gemini. Um, new moon phase is from May the 30th to June 6th, but in that in between that time, June 3rd, Mercury goes station direct, it will no longer be retrograde. So, that's a great thing for those of you who may feel like you had garbled messages coming through and you were really uncertain or unsure. But I see how this ends for you. It ends with you being very happy. So just get some rest. Get some rest. Right? All right. Don't deprive yourself of some sleep. All right? That's what I have for you. Have a great one. Bye.